um, so we're going to go into some of the um, there were sessions dedicated to some of the, the things mentioned on the roadmap. So one of those was the the Gmail's add-on. So this this what I think is quite interesting about the Gmail add-on uh, announcement is the fact that it's um, it's baked in to to the platform. So it is um, coded using AppScript, but you know if you pick up Gmail on Android or iOS, um, you know the, the actions that you're you're coding with AppScript script are going to be there, just as they would be on the desktop. I, I just wonder, from the room, with any other projects already spinning up in your mind that you you think you could tackle this? Well, well, actually, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't talk about projects specifically. What I'd rather say is the philosophical approach to it. And um, we all remember back in the early days. Um, the way that you had a UI was with that UI app thing. Um, and then they decided that was a little bit too limiting. And then it became, you had this problem that if you wanted to talk to the end user, you suddenly had to learn um, HTML and CSS and JavaScript and all sorts of stuff um, just, to, just to ask him a question, you know? And that, I thought was a massive inhibitor for um, people who were just starting up. I think that you know people get started up on app script because it's kind of easy to get going and then suddenly you've got to ask a question and there's a whole new world you've got to learn um, and I think that the approach with the Gmail add-on um, from what I've seen of it so far and what I've understood is as you say it's much more integrated you don't have to know all those things you don't have to be a, a front-end developer just to ask a simple question and I think this will remove a tremendous barrier to adoption um, ever since the UI app went away. I wasn't a fan of the UI app, by the way, by any means. <laughs> but I, so, I think it was a big yeah. barrier for people to get started doing doing better things. So if you haven't seen the, the session for that, the, the slide here we've, we've pulled from that session just shows you how you'd make a, um, a, a contact card in, in Gmail add-on. So you can see you know, in a couple of lines of code. I just wonder. Do, do you think this will be the direction Google goes in terms of add-ons for doc sheets and forms and in terms of, because currently it's a free-for-all in terms of appearance, do you think they'll be trying to rein us in and give us a, a very fixed palette in terms of presenting well, I think, stuff? Well, I think that you'll still be able to do whatever you like, but um, this, the encouragement you get from doing things much more easily will cause them to start to look, um, which is probably a good thing because, you know, if it's an add-on to a to a system, it should look like the system. You know, it should be part yeah. of what, what it's supposed to be an add-on to, as opposed to some um, strange, weird, and wonderful thing that we can all come up with from time to time. So, yeah, I think it's I think it's they're all going to eventually hone in. It's, it's like material design. The way that the way that every Google website you go to pretty much nowadays, um, you know it's a Google website, and you know, um, you know because of the 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 way you interact with with all the the widgets and so on is is standard, and the color schemes are standard. So you don't have to. I wonder how I navigate around this kind of a question whenever you arrive. And the same thing will should apply to add-ons as well. So I think it's good, but of course the the um, underlying apps themselves like sheets and everything also need to be upgraded to to be like that too because they're not yet so you know i think that's that's the, i think it's a good thing steve um you're you're uh, the owner of the the uh, google plus add-ons community which is booming by the way i think you just you went over 16k Members, that, have you any thoughts on, you know, should add-ons for the other platforms go down this route, or do you think that's going to be too limiting, or um, any thoughts? Um, I believe I saw some communication where I'm kind of leaning towards what Bruce was saying. Yeah, this would, I think this will be available eventually, but they're not going to take away, for example, the HTML mm -hmm. service. Yeah. Um, and as long as you... Um, uh, fall in line with the best practices that Google has on their documentation. Um, and also getting back to the Gmail version of this, uh, it's it's a nice, nice to have for add-ons existing in Gmail because so many users have been dependent on like extensions in the browser, like the Chrome browser. Yeah. And 
that was limited because you have to use a Chrome browser and extensions typically aren't used on the mobile area. So this is a, a win in many ways for the Gmail to have an add-on. So that's why you're going to probably see a lot of these famous Chrome extensions for Gmail perhaps navigating to this and maybe going away. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to uh, how this evolves. I, I was um, recently presenting to um, uh, there's a local tech meetup for mobile developers, and I was talking about the Android add-ons that already exist, and um, it just seems that they really, you know, given the direction they've gone with Gmail add-ons, they missed a trick with the Android add-ons for Docs and Sheets because it, the ones I've seen, it, they they just don't integrate at, at all. That's a good point. So it does it does solve that problem. I mean, cross platform, cross browsers, with a simple, uh, what can be a source of a pain point of building the UI, as Bruce stated. So mm -hmm. it's a very good point. So that's why it's hard to imagine them not rolling this uh, card technique through all add-ons. Yeah. Remain, was there anything you picked up in the corridors um, after this session? Um, or anything from the session that, that caught your eye? Well, uh, I think mostly the uh, Gmail team was afraid that uh, if they allowed um, the HTML service, uh, it would be a mess. Um, yeah. They wanted to avoid that. So maybe they uh, put some pressure on the App Script team to release uh, this kind of stuff. And um, at the moment, um, uh, I haven't tested uh, those add-ons yet, so I don't know how much you can do with that. But yeah. uh, if you look at the um, uh, at the uh, at the session, you will see that uh, uh, well, it, it was a tiny bit disappointing because, in fact, uh, they uh, they made presentation of two different add-ons. Uh, from uh, two CRMs, uh, Salesforce and uh, Prosperworks. And in fact, uh, their add-ons were really exactly the same. Uh, yeah. And so if they've built uh, this just for that, uh, it will be an issue. Uh, but uh, if you are able to do more, it, it will be interesting to, to test and see exactly how you can uh, um, uh, what you can do with this stuff. And another interesting thing is that uh, so uh, there's one direction where uh, the yeah, Gmail team uh, is okay with add-ons but wants to uh, protect its UI. Uh, and at the same time, um, if you have uh, published an add-on recently, uh, you might have seen that uh, there's no uh, review process anymore, uh, meaning that um, uh, at the uh, launch of the add-on stores, uh, there was, um, well, in fact, one guy at Google, but uh, uh, there was uh, a process uh, where uh, someone at Google uh, was uh, reviewing your add-on uh, and uh, making a list of uh, adjustments, not in terms of code, uh, but in terms of uh, uh, look and feel, uh, user experience, and uh, mostly also how it integrates um, in the um, in the UI of uh, uh, the editor, docs, sheets, or forms. Uh, and uh, you add to uh, use uh, their um, CSS uh, to have uh, buttons uh, that uh, were similar to the buttons available uh, in the UI of docs and sheets. And so on. And uh, now there's not that anymore. Uh, you can publish uh, uh, an add-on with a UI that is completely different from the UI you're seeing in uh, uh, Docs or Sheets. Uh, and it's totally okay. Um, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I suppose uh, uh, it depends on the uh, team handling that, and uh, it will be interesting to see if uh, they want to um, 
support this um, new um, uh, CARS framework uh, to other UIs, or if it's if, if it was just a request uh, from the Gmail team, and if it will only remain uh, for uh, the Gmail UI on that sort. I don't know.